Brought to you by ContentBinger.com Actus Reyes Let's look at Martin v. State Alabama Court of Appeals, 1944 Spoiler, the defendant in Martin was eventually found not guilty because he did not commit the required actus reus to fulfill element, too. This case is interesting because Martin, defendant, was evidently hammered, just chilling at his house and drinking. The cops came to his crib and arrested him. In the process, the police transported him to a local highway. On the highway, defendant began acting out, the way a drunk person sometimes carries on. The officers then charged him with the statute that follows. Any person who, while one, intoxicated or drunk, two, appears in any public place where one or more persons are present, and three, manifests a drunken condition by boisterous or indecent conduct, or loud and profane discourse, shall, on conviction, be fined, etc. Code 1940, Title 14, Section 120. So to clarify, at the beginning when defendant, was drunk in his home, defendant was not violating the statute. However, due to the cops forcibly removing defendant from his home and placing him on a public highway, they were able to charge him with the above statute. But, is defendant guilty? Well, the elements, on their face, seem satisfied and indicate defendant is guilty of violating this statute. He was definitely, one, intoxicated or drunk, was voluntarily drinking a lot at his home, two, in a public place with one or more people, but this is where the trick comes in, because he was not voluntarily on the public highway with police and any passers-by, and, three, being loud and boisterous, voluntarily carrying on like a drunk. However, although the actus reus required for guilt are present for elements, one, and, three, it was not possible for the man to commit the required guilty actus reus of element, two, this is because the man did not voluntarily commit the act of going to the public highway, as it was compulsory for him to do so, at the officer's direction. To repeat, the actus reus must be voluntary, and in the case where officers cause a drunk man to violate a statute which requires, he be in public, by detaining him and bringing him in public, that actus reus element will not be satisfied because of an involuntary defense. For your convenience, I have provided the basis for a ruling such as Martin and the rest of this video. MPC section 2.01 reads as follows. 1. A person is not guilty of an offense unless his liability is based on conduct which includes a voluntary act or the omission to perform an act of which he is physically capable. 2. The following are not voluntary acts within the meaning of this section. a. A reflex or convulsion b. A bodily movement during unconsciousness or sleep c. Conduct during hypnosis or resulting from hypnotic suggestion d. A bodily movement that otherwise is not a product of the effort or determination of the actor, either conscious or habitual 3. Liability for the commission of an offense may not be based on an omission unaccompanied by action unless a. The omission is expressly made sufficient by the law defining the offense, or b. A duty to perform the omitted act is otherwise imposed by law. 4. Possession is an act, within the meaning of this section, if the possessor knowingly procured or received the thing possessed or was aware of his control thereof for a sufficient period to have been able to terminate his possession. Thanks for watching, for more content, check out contentbinger.com